Main thing is 99 million dollars of USDC transform from Justinson to Binance 18 minutes ago. This is one of the first topics we'll discuss and why I'm currently bullish on Bitcoin and some other pairs. We'll also analyze the Dixie, the Gold, S&P, pretty much everything you need to know to be in touch. We also have uh, a few other stuff, some news. Uh, Binance trying to play with uh, the, the US, but not really as well. Same situation uh, like we discussed yesterday. Not just that, we have more money transformed from just in some 20 minutes ago than we have uh, 5,000 BTC transferred from a non wallet to a non, non wallet. But in general, when uh, whales are transferring money to Binance, it's normally to buy uh, altcoins. So, why do I believe we have, we currently have a, a good long position here? By the way, this video is not financialized, but you can actually claim a huge amount of bonuses from Binance. And whale stats was uh, all credits go to whale stats for the news we had on Justin Sun, but in general, you can claim around $30,000 in different sign-up bonuses when you register, deposit, and train on Bybit. So definitely do check it out. The link in the description down below. I have an exclusive partnership with them for stuff like that. So right now, Bitcoin is trolling. We had very, very low volume. It was, in general, very, very weird during the weekend. But something that happened during the Asia session, uh, the end of the Asia session, the beginning of the European session uh, for uh, Eastern Europe, Germany and everything else should start, London should start trading in around an hour from now, is we actually moved on the one hour above the VWAPs and above the 20 MA moving average. On the daily chart, we're looking a lot more bullish uh, than we do on other charts. This is something we discussed yesterday as well. We have the VWAP curving up um, a little bit more on uh, the daily chart, on the 18 hour chart. You can clearly see we are currently in a um, bullish scenario where bulls are in control right now. We have the moving averages moving uh, in the same direction. And yeah, we are just waiting for the 18, the two day. I have a dot on my screen. Um, the, we are just waiting for the daily chart to move uh, closer to the zero line on the view up to have a confirmed breakout. I've seen some trading ideas, uh, some of which are weird, but uh, some of which not so much. Um, one of them, March the 1st, basically signaling bullish momentum. Most of them are bullish from what I can see. And uh, yeah, so we'll go and test out how this works. Uh, if we go to the Digzy right here, the Digzy is uh, currently trending downwards on the daily chart, which is very, very bullish for Bitcoin. The 18 hour chart is uh, trending downwards. So yeah, in general, the Digzy is down. Obviously that's an inverse pair, so that's good for Bitcoin. Uh, gold on the other hand is uh, pumping, which is good for Bitcoin. It's in correlation with everything. We believe crypto to be the 18 hour chart uh, would also be interesting. Right here, let me reset the chart. And the 12 hour, 10 hour, yeah, gold is definitely bullish right now. We have some issues on the 10 hour, we have some resistance uh, basically right here, but we'll see how the markets react. It's definitely a weak breakout, we have a rejection, a very strong rejection uh, for that as well. We are actually seeing some rejection on Bitcoin, but yeah. So right now, this is how I would play it. Oh, we just dumped at the beginning of the new hour. So this is how I'll play uh, the Bitcoin pair today. Um, right now I'm bullish, I would be bullish at least, right, and I will play my longs to the best of my ability. Um, if we manage to secure probably this would be my, oh wait, what's going on, area where I would place shorts on Bitcoin. Based on Bitcoin's price, if it goes below here, I'll look for currencies that have not dropped yet, altcoins, because I mainly trade altcoins. I'm trading with a smaller balance right now, so uh, I don't mind the lower liquidity I get on altcoins. I'm doing scalps, so I'm not that worried. We are, we are 
we just went below the view ops but the view ops are below the emas and considering everything else uh, again i'm still bullish plus investor optimism improves after Dow snaps four-week losing streak. The CNN Money, Fear and Greed Index showed an improvement in overall sentiment among U.S. investors. U.S. stocks moved higher on Friday's Treasury yields fell for their recent highs after investors digested comments from the Federal Reserve's officials. The Dow Jones added around 1.75% last week, snapping a four-week losing streak. HP Enterprise Company is down right now, posted better than expected. How is HP doing? HP, Hewler Parker. Uh, yeah, it's definitely trending upwards, but it's a little exhausted. It's definitely a little exhausted right now. Uh, so we go here, daily is looking good on HP. Yeah, it's in a, it's in a uptrend. Anyway, you look at HP right now, it's in an uptrend. So I'm not really worried about that. Uh, if we go and yeah, you can see this fair value gap being filled. Uh, we're also in, yeah. In, in general, anyway, I looked at the US 30 stocks. We were moving upwards. Um, so yeah, my main projection is optimism for today. Something that I would be interested in seeing uh, is uh, DeFi. After 760 mil Bitcoin Ethereum lost Babel, plans to launch a recovery coin. Uh, in mid-2022, Babel Finance, a Hong Kong-based crypto lender, restricted withdrawals and redemptions for its platform, citing unusual liquidity pressure. Soon after it, it was revealed that the lender lost seven, uh, 200 mil in Bitcoin and Ethereum because it could not meet margin calls. It was trading very, very badly, poorly. According to Bloomberg, Babel estimated that the additional 524 million worth of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other tokens were lost as consequences uh, because of his trading activities. Basically, young traders that have no idea what they're doing are trying to look in the markets. Binance, on the other hand, which seems to kind of know what they're doing, it was a weird play what they did with uh, FTX, considering they're a little bit guilty. Can I focus the camera a little bit better? Let me check. That should be a little bit better. Um, Binance considers tapping Chancellor's expertise as an advisor. It just considered it, but uh, yeah, they're trying to play ball and not really with the US in general. Binance has emerged as one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges since its inception in 2017. After uh, over the years, the exchange has amassed millions of users spread across hundreds of nations. It was also one of the st sturdiest cryptocurrency firms during the prolonged bear market. It managed to survive. Uh, most didn't. They kind of pushed the dominant. Yeah, it was. Uh, the, the the situation with with Binance is very weird because they kind of put us in that situation last year uh, in November with uh, with our friend um, Sam Beckman Fried. I don't know. I think that they're kind of guilty for everything that happened. Consider they also had some issues with liquidity. Um, I'll follow up with more videos today, updating you. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing a flow Kino video. Come monkey, if you're watching this, say hi in the comment section. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a flow Kino video later today, so let me know if you're interested in that or any other tokens I can uh, review. This I want to do this daily, basically early in the morning. I want to tell you my game plan for the day, how we'll play out the current specific. Uh, situation that we are in, when I'll be long, how I'll play my shorts, and so on. See you next one. Love you guys and girls. Bye.